Hello guys, my name is Bert. Today you are going to learn some basics of After Effects. So let's jump into After Effects. Okay guys, now we are in After Effects CS6. So this is called the Project Panel and this is the Composition Panel. This is our Timeline. And these are effects and presets, and this is a preview panel. So what it is means, if you import a footage or audio or any video, it is going to be stored here. Or if you, what is this composition panel means, if you import any timeline or whatever you are doing on timeline will be appear here. So before doing all this, let's import a footage so you can understand easily. Mm, import a footage. So this is our footage. Now let's drag it into a new composition. This icon. So this is our make it quarter. So this is our timeline. You can preview our footage here. So okay. Now I'm going to teach you some basics of After Effects. So if you press this arrow icon, this is for audio. So these are two icons, which is one for audio and this is for layer visible. If you disable this, your layer is going to be invisible. So if you enable this, your layer is going to be, sorry, your video is going to be enabled and you can view it perfectly. So click this arrow button and click on transform. This is position. If you want to move your footage or from here to there, if you move the position, your footage is going to be come down. If you move this one, it is going to be moved horizontally and if you move here, it is going to be moved vertically. So press Ctrl Z for undo the changes and this is scaling. What's mean by scale? Scale means decreasing or increasing the size of the layer. So if you increase the scale, your video size will be decreased. If you increase the scale, it's going to be increased. And what's mean by rotation? Rotation means it will rotate your video. See here, if you increase this, it is rotated in right side. If you decrease this, it will be rotated in left side. So, okay, and this is mean by opacity. Opacity means it's nothing but de increasing the layer invisible. If you decrease opacity, your layer is going to be invisible. If you increase the opacity, it will increase the layer size. Mm, make it 100. Okay, these are the basics. And if you want to rename your footage simply right click here and click on rename for example rename it as tutorial okay so these are the basics of after effects and now coming to effects and presets panel if you want to decrease the duration of your video see here my video is 11.5 seconds so if you want to decrease its duration, right, right click on it, go to time and click on time stretch. It is 100 frames and make it 50. See it decreased to 6 seconds. Before that it is in 11 seconds and now it is 6 seconds. Now our video is going to be too fast. So I am rolling back the changes by pressing Ctrl Z. Ok and now Let's test a uh, effect. For example, fast blur. Select the layer and double click on it. If you increase the blur, see our video is going to get blurred. See here, whenever I'm increasing blurness, it is too blur. If you decrease it, then it's going to be normal. So if you want to blur uh, after some time, so for some time you want to blur, so simply plus here, press here, 
and go to two. So come to the next next effect. Click on radial fast blur. So radial fast blur means it's nothing but you can blur the objects which you desire. See here, if you want to blur this guy, if you increase the blurness, it lo it's only blurs that side. See, you can see it perfectly. So okay, okay guys. Now, now, if you want to pre-compose or if you move this layer into a new video, simply right-click on this layer and click on pre-compose. Um, name it tutorial comp one. Click OK. See here, it's get into a new composition. Double click on it. You can view your video here. So, what are these things? So, let's click on this hand tool. See what will happen. It moves your footage from here to there. You can view it perfectly. And what this? This is for magnify your footage. If you press this, it will magnify it. And what is this? Actually, I said here, click on transform to rotate the layer. Simply, without going there, click this one and select the layer. You can turn, sorry, you can turn your video like this by clicking your anchor point. And now what this camera? The cameras are majorly used in 2D, in 2D layers, not in 2D layers. This is a mask tool. So this is called a mask tool. It will mask the layer from here to there. So you can mask it perfectly. If you want the smooth edges here, click on, click this arrow and go to mask 1. Increase the feather of the layer. See. Sorry. See here, there are the edges are too smooth. If you decrease the featherness, it's too sharp. So that is the specialty of mask. Mm, this is a pen tool. Use it. To, sorry. Select the layer, and this is called the pen tool. You can select your desired. Whoa, wait. And now this is a, this is called a pen tool. If you want to cut, if if you want to cut this area, for example, only this area is going to be visible. So if you want to delete this area and if you want the background, simply go to mask one. Click on inverted. That's it. Okay. Delete the mask by pressing Del. And this is a text layer which you can insert a text, for example, tutorial. You can insert text on your videos or anything. So I'm deleting this one. And this is called the brush tool and these tools are not going to be useful for us whenever if you want to do masking or want to change the backgrounds of the footage then you can use these tools. So in my later next tutorial I'll teach you the exact perfect tutorials that how to get some simple VFX in After Effects and exciting tutorials. Okay guys, anyway, thanks for watching this tutorial. I hope you learned something from this tutorial. If you learn or if you enjoyed this tutorial, simply click the like button below and subscribe to our channel.